Battle of Fredericksburg is memorable for so many unique aspects. This was one of the most resounding Confederate victories fought under Robert E. Lee in the East. This was also one of the most hopeless disasters the Union Army ever suffered in Virginia. But perhaps the most affecting image that comes out of the Battle of Fredericksburg is the sublime courage that was exhibited by both sides during the fight. Now don't get me wrong, not everybody on this battlefield was a hero. For example, Union General Alfred Sully was knocked out at one point. The last thing he heard before he was knocked over was a Union soldier saying, don't stop me, I'm demoralized as hell. But even in the midst of all of this, there were soldiers that exhibited true, genuine courage. Uh, there was a Union soldier named David Kistler. And this was the very first battle he had ever been in. Before he could even get out of the city streets of Fredericksburg, his arm was ripped off by a Confederate shell, and his career as a soldier should have been ended. They took him to a hospital, they amputated his arm, but David Kistler proceeded to get up off the operating table, grab his rifle, and come back out on the battlefield because he wasn't done yet. Just as he was entering into this terrible maelstrom of fighting, his unit had already been there, and broken up, and was falling back. One-armed David Kistler was the man who rallied his regiment and kept them on the battlefield. But among all these soldiers, the one that perhaps exhibited the most resounding courage and humanity was Richard Kirkland of South Carolina. Kirkland was behind the stone wall at Fredericksburg and saw waves upon waves of Union attackers get mowed down in the fire on December 13th. He also heard the cries of the wounded trapped in no man's land begging for water. At the risk of his own life, Sergeant Kirkland jumped the stone wall and brought water to his enemies. And for that, he was hailed as the Angel of Marie's Heights. He was an inspiration to others to follow suit, and there were several Confederates who ventured out between the lines to help the wounded Union soldiers. In a modern day of anti-heroes, it's so hard for people to understand people like Sergeant Kirkland, and it's amazing to understand the selflessness of these men.